All right, so Travis is setting up a couple of sarcophagi here. So we'll get we'll get our colonists even... Will we bury Rena in a sarcophagi? I don't know if we will. We might put her in a grave, you know. We're actually going to put her in a grave. Yeah, we are. Um, so Travis did one sarcophagi. It is good. And we will get him to bury... Where's Declan? There. Ah, poor Declan. Poor Declan. You were feeding a meal to Dreamer. And you're cooking a fine meal. You know what? You can bury... You can bury Declan. Beautiful. In our little graveyard here. Um, which I'm going to set up further. So I might... I will mine the rest of that out. We will put more sarcophagi in there. Um, and then we'll actually ter terraform this and do some dirt in here and probably put a sun lamp in here somewhere and start growing like some roses around the graves and stuff because, uh, I don't know, that makes me kind of happy. Let's get Travis to do that one grave. Now this grave I am going to, uh, well, I guess if I just open here and... No stranger corpses. Which does mean that Rena will get buried there at some point. Oh, it looks like Rena's missing a head. You have hypothermia, apparently. And yeah, your head was shot off. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Rena. You didn't exactly get the uh, greatest reunion with your lover or the greatest welcome to, uh, to Vault 28 here. Quite a few people have had a fairly, uh, a fairly bad welcome to the vault. Um, who's extreme break? Beardy is extreme. What's going on with Beardy? Observed corpse is not helping. Cabin fever is what is our issue here. Come outside, Beardy. Come outside. There you go. We did apparently have an innocent prisoner die. So apparently you were... Innocent. Immunity 94%. That's going to happen. Travis is tending. Excellent. So you are going to get your immunity from this infection. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely you will. Just. Which is good. And yeah, we are chatting to recruit you. You do actually have your immunity now. So hopefully Beardy can get that done. Yeah, hopefully Beardy can. Let's actually unrestrict people. Because that might be why some of this corpse hauling is not happening. Lim Hansen will, when he gets up, will go and start taking care of corpses. And taking them outside. Um, yeah, we're not going to put... With my graveyards, I never like to put anybody in our graveyards except for colonists. So that's all we're going to do. Um... It's not worth, in my opinion, going to any effort to take care of the bodies of people who attack us. Alright, Lim Hansen is stripping people. And then, hopefully, you will start hauling some people. Let's haul this guy first. Yeah, burying? Oh, you're going to bury Rena. That's actually okay. Oh, and Lim Hansen is Rena's lover. So Lim Hansen can go and bury his lover in this grave, which is a good quality grave, or what is it? I swear graves used to have quality, but this one doesn't seem to. So maybe that's not a thing anymore. We did have a good quality sarcophagus, though, for... Uh... Why is Beardy the author of this? Because I'm sure Travis built this one. Well, I guess... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really don't know. Um, yeah, but we have a good sarcophagus here for Declan. Uh, and this sarcophagus, sarcophagus is engraved with a portrayal of an eland in a baseball cap of a criminologist. The work suggests the concept of war. There is an ape beneath the main image. Oh, that's a bit annoying. So it doesn't even have like a, a story there about Declan. I would have liked for that to have been... Uh the case. Let's get you to haul 
those potatoes. What we should probably do is flag the harvesting for our corn there. And Travis should go and do that. Previously, that used to be covered by the plant cutting duty, but it doesn't look like it's being covered by that anymore. So I'll have to turn his growing back onto a one and get him to do that. We do need to get that harvest in. Uh, Travis, do some hauling. Or, yeah, do that hauling there. So just get a bit more corn inside. Yeah, there's so much construction that needs to happen, but there's a bunch of repairing that's happening first. Is that door being held open? It is. You know, oh, when we when we dealt with that raid, I think we had the door held open. Oh, I was I really wasn't paying the attention that I should have been there. So we had the door held open there and everyone just streamed in here. We didn't have turrets on at all. Uh, yeah, we definitely we could have dealt with that raid without anyone dying without too much issue, I think. <sighs> but we didn't. We didn't really do that. So we're down to four colonists again here now. But we do have two characters here who will get recruited at some point. Rennie can dumb labor. And so can Conway. Um, and yeah, Conway is a bit more difficult to recruit. But it could happen. Oh, you love Beardy already. How does Renee feel about Beardy? Not bad. You're a misogynist and you still love Beardy. Why is why do you love Beardy so much if you're a misogynist? Uh, where is it? Social. Uh, built rapport, beautiful woman, negative 25, but it doesn't matter. The, the, the beautiful really offsets that. We have cargo pods. Slate blocks. Alright. We'll get the uh, slag as well at some point. Yeah, I would really like to get a hauling bot. And if I don't get a trade ship that has one anytime soon, um, what we're going to do is we're going to probably send someone out in a caravan. Oh, Beardy, you legend. Beardy. Who have you recruited? You've recruited Renee. Or however we say that name. Let's go and grab the colonist list here. Just give me a sec while that gets there. And our next colonist here is going to be Emre Yernuk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that exactly right. But, yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with the full name there. Why not? Emre Yernuk, you are going to be a resident. You're a vault resident. Um, it won't let me put a space in there. All right. Well, we're not going to do the last name then. It's going to be Resident Emery. Beautiful. Um, yeah. So yeah, definitely a resident. At some stage, if your mining gets amazing, you could become a scientist. Uh, you have construction. Oh, okay. This. Oh, this is so great. We're already pretty much back to how we were. No bed rest. We're already pretty much back to how we were with um, with Declan in the colony. So you can construct and you can mine. Oh, this is so good. So you can help with the mining. You're actually quite good at it at a 10, but you're missing an arm, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Is there anything we can do about that right now? I don't know that there is. Yeah, we can do peg legs, but we can't do like a peg arm, obviously. We'd need a simple prosthetic arm at least. Yeah. At least a simple prosthetic arm. All right. What we're going to do here, we're going to... Oh, actually... Yeah, we'll reinstall this bed in there. And... I'll let Travis finish closing that in almost do that bed please Travis 
so we'll do that. Deconstruct those sleeping spots. That is prisonified. Excellent. Alright. Oh, you still got a corpse in your room? Lim Hansen. Pull that corpse. Alright. So we'll do our best to get Conway recruited. I just feel like with Beardy and her amazing uh, effect she has on everybody, I feel like Beardy can get the 95% difficulty recruit happened um so yeah we're gonna we're gonna try for it travis is doing another sarcophagi that's excellent yeah i wonder why it considers beardy the author to that because travis definitely did the other one did beardy bury this person maybe that's what it is maybe beardy actually buried declan and that's why beardy's the author yeah it could be uh, Lim Hansen is not in a great mood. He's going to rest now. Oh, there's an assault rifle out there. Man, there's so many guns around. There's so much just stuff around everywhere. Package survival meals. Golly. Golly. <laughs> um, Dreamer. Equip it. Haul it. Alright. The rest of these I'm not so worried about. They can kind of sit for a bit. Because, um... They're undercover, so they're not going to decay. Let's check restrictions. Everyone's unrestricted. And what I should do is I should start rearming people. So, Dreamer. Let's find the best gun we can here. Actually, that's just going to do. Go ahead and take a normal LMG. M-Ray... Shooting skill of two. All right, let's just find again the best gun here that we can. I want something more rapid fire. Okay, that's gonna do for you. Because rapid fire is much better for low skilled characters because um, you know, with a high damage, low rate of fire weapon like a sniper rifle, for example, um, their low skill characters are just going to end up missing so many shots. But at least with the spray and prey of a uh, rapid fire weapon, they have the chance to hit people. Especially if they're in a bit of a group, then they can, uh, you know, just shoot at a large group like that. Lim Hansen is up. He's in his joy hour, but he's going to eat. Yeah, and then he's going to miss his joy hour. He's kind of doing okay. Okay, the Sanguine is really helping there. Yeah. Still pretty much two seasons to go on his uh, lover dying there. Uh, we are getting a turret here replaced, which is good. Are you... Getting some steel. Yeah, okay. Travis is hauling 30 steel. Yeah, we need to kind of keep an eye on these guys... 35 steel. You're going to haul literally like one steel. Just come here and haul that for me. 65. I think that's pretty much as much as Travis can carry. It kind of goes up and down, I think, with like the amount of toxic fallout they have. So the worse they are, the less um, ability they have to carry things. The less strength, I guess, they have. One of our heaters apparently broke down. It's already been fixed. So major break is still Beardy and Lim Hansen. Beardy, why are you so majorly breaking? Okay, why are you naked? And you've got cabin fever again. <laughs> naked Beardy is trying to recruit Conway. Surely this will work. 0.95%, yeah. Um, yeah, come outside first. And then, I guess what I do is I force you to wear some of this stuff. Is that not Dead Man's? It is Dead Man's. Yeah, I'm just going to force you to wear some Dead Man's stuff. It's not the best, but 
Yeah, wear that t-shirt as well. All right, that'll do. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's better than being naked because you will get... Uh, where's... So dead man's stuff, which is a negative seven, but you don't have the naked and you're not going to have the cold now. So it's better. It's better overall. Beardy. Oh, Beardy can't violent. That's right. So Lim Hansen. Are you a decent... Oh, you're a great shot. Oh, but you had the eye issue. You know what? If anyone's going to take a sniper rifle, it's still got to be you, surely. So let's get you to equip that. Yeah, and the rest of our guys here, except for Travis. So everyone except for Travis has a decent weapon. Uh, Trav... Chain shotgun. Oh, that's one of the new things. Well, Trav, what about I give you the assault rifle, to be honest, that we took here? Yeah, go and equip that assault rifle, mate. That's going to be... That's going to be good for you. Hauling steel to improvise turret. Okay. Just go and haul some of that. Extreme break is Lim Hansen. Yeah, we've got... We've got issues here. We've got issues here. We do. Quite a bit of stuff to be done. <laughs> a lot of stuff to be done. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of people to do it. Trav probably needs to sleep. He is going to go sleep now. Right, at least it's warm in here. We have actually got these enclosed as well. And this... Yeah, okay, so that's superior. That's good. Alright, I'm going to give this to Dreamer. Dreamer. This is a wooden bed, right? Well, yeah, it is. Where does it say, though? Superior. I can't see here where it says what it's made out of. I can tell it's... I know it's wood. And I, I can see the colour of the this icon here changing. But why does it say where it's wood? It should actually tell me that it's wood. Somewhere. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. I know it is, so we're going to deconstruct that. And we're going to give Emray this bed. And we're going to... Deconstruct this. And we're going to build one more of these here. And actually... Well, some more in here. And we need a heater in there as well. Let's just throw it there for the moment. And get some power running in here. Now, how are we going to do this? Alright, we're going to do it like this, like this, and like that. And then, I am actually going... Well, to mine out through there. Alright. And then I'll run the power through here. Because it makes me happy to hide as many of the power lines as is possible. Yeah, so this guy actually has... Yeah, he's, he's got okay needs here. Hideous environment. That's mainly because we've got these chunks in here. So maybe I should get Travis to start hauling these chunks out. But I should just maybe just take him... Okay, now that's blocking the path, which is not the best. Yeah, alright. So we're just going to take him, like, the minimum kind of distance. Uh, and we'll just try and get, like, as many of the chunks out as possible. Well, we'll take them all out. Guess that chunk can sit... No, it can't sit there. Alright, it can sit over there. Alright, two more. So one more. 
guess we'll take it about that far and then that one beautiful someone is binging on food it's emray all right and it was because you're a pessimist we did set emray up to work properly yeah we did so mining yeah he's gonna help with mining yeah turn that art off i guess we didn't do all of it all clean yeah, you're actually probably going to craft as well. Although, crafting with an arm missing isn't the best. Yeah. Travis, you're hauling some steel. Oh, you guys are hauling meat. Okay, you're hauling four steel, literally. Oh, man. Just come down here and haul more of that. Yeah, we don't have any steel in the stockpile. It's all just laying around the map everywhere. Oh yeah, we didn't even take a look at this item stash opportunity. AI Persona Core. Do we... I mean, we really don't want to go out there because we just can't right now. Yeah. The one trip that I do want to make is out here. I want to make a trading trip out here. Ideally with two characters and the Muffalo. But I don't know if we can afford that really. Uh, but it will be in the summer when we do it. I don't know if it will be this summer. But it will be in a summer. And I want to get out here. And I want to grab a hauling bot if they have it. If not, we might go here and see if these guys have one. One of these Outlander settlements will have a hauling bot. Um, and yeah, just without running the more trade ship ships mod, I've literally had like two trade ships in two years of playing. Obviously, I haven't had... Well, it's not two years yet, but almost. Yeah, obviously, I haven't had... Um, can we zoom in? Obviously, I haven't had... Um, the comms console around forever but um yeah i've had it around for at least a year and only had like two things happen oh 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 oh, oh. beardy you legend oh beardy recruit conway 0.91 percent chance and we have another character hell yeah Hell yeah, our recklessness here has kind of paid off. We've killed some people. You know, maybe not done things in the best way. We left a door open. We didn't flick the guns on, whatever. But we now have one. We have six characters. We now have six characters. I am okay with this. I'm okay with this. You can help with wardening when it comes up. Because um, even just making sure people get fed is a thing. You can help with handling. Yeah, your double passion for it, you can definitely help with handling because we have uh, we have Lovey to train, who I'm pretty sure I did talk about, but yeah, we got a self-taming Timberwolf at some point. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I think I talked about it. If I didn't, I just did. Um, growing. Yeah, you're going to be mega growy as well, which means I'll actually take Travis off of the mega growy duties because it helps to not get in the way of his mining quite as much um no this guy this guy can art right and he can actually kind of mine too do we want him to do that i'm gonna have that as a lower priority thing i actually kind of need some hauling happening and this guy has two arms all right He's got two arms. We recruited him while he was malnutrition, malnourished. That's so good. Beardy is just like the best social person ever. The the uh, the the beautiful there must help a lot. I'll put art on a four for you. Just like, you know, in case. No, you know, I won't even do that. I'll put crafting on a three. 
Yeah, so pretty much you're going to be a full-time hauler with the occasional bit of growing in there and a bit of handling as well and wardening if it comes up. But yeah, your, your main work is going to be hauling, which as you can see, we really need. All right, we did deconstruct those little uh, tables there. So let's get them replaced. Actually, that's the wrong one. We want this one. Let's get them replaced with sandstone things and I need to catch up on all our crap here. So sandstone... There? Yeah, sandstone. Sandstone. And then, just in the normal furniture, we want sandstone, sandstone stools. Right here. All in here. Awesome. And then we'll flag you to be deconstructed and you guys to be deconstructed. But that won't happen until we've set this stuff up. Um, cargo pods. All right, so we have cargo pods. They are red cloth. Nadine was confused. Lim Hansen was overdosing, apparently. Nadine was confused. Okay. So Lim Hansen was just binging because of the sadness, which is okay. That's okay, mate. I get ya. We're buffed by Beardy. <laughs> He's trying to, trying to, trying to move on with things there. 